Hey everyone, welcome to Math Talk. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Brian Heisler, and today we're going to talk about how to solve word problems using equations. So in a couple of previous videos, I've looked at how to add, subtract, and multiply polynomials um, and expressions. Now we're going to look at equations and how you can use them to solve word problems. Similar steps, but you really kind of go one step further and actually solve it out. So let's take a look at a couple of word problems. I'm just going to jump right into it. We have an example that says John is shipping five boxes that weigh the same amount in an envelope that weighs two and a half pounds. The total shipment weight for the, uh, for the you know, weight is 45 pounds. And how much does each box weigh? So in word problems, you really want to break down the problem as much as you can and pick out the important pieces of information to use to put together. So we're going to do that first. We're going to find out what is important in this word problem. So one of these is as we have five boxes, that's going to become important because we need to know how much each box is. They all weigh the same amount, and there's an envelope that weighs two and a half pounds. And this is the total weight is 45 pounds. So those are the key things that we need to include when we write our equation. And then how much does each box weigh? So let's kind of put these pieces together to form an equation, and let's solve it. So we have five boxes. Five, let's say B is boxes, that needs to be our uh, variable. Plus we have this envelope that weighs two and a half pounds. We add them together, we get our total weight, which is going to be 45. Now all of a sudden we have an equation, which we can solve. It's a two-step equation. We want to solve for B, for boxes. So first thing is, let's get rid of this 2.5 from both sides. And then that's going to go away. We get 5b equals 42.5. Now we got one more step, 5 times b. So to solve it, do the opposite. Divide, divide. And then we get left with b equals, type in 42.5 divided by 5 in your calculator. You're going to get 8.5 pounds. Make sure you include your units when you're looking at variables like this. So each box weighs eight and a half pounds, okay? So that's one type of problem you're going to see. Let's look at another type that involves a little bit more of an elaborate way to solve problems with equations, a little bit more work involved. So let's take a look. It says we have ticket prices for a concert are $12 for adults and $8 for children. So I'm going to go ahead and underline those two right now because those are important pieces. Pretty much any time you see a number in a word problem, you're probably going to use it. So it's good to remember what it is. One evening, there were 200 tickets that were sold. That's key. The total amount earned for the tickets that evening was $2,240. That's important. How many adult tickets were sold? So that's going to be the key thing. There's two types of tickets in this problem. There's adult tickets, and then there's children's tickets. We need to find the price for adult tickets only. So let's look at what we have and let's use that information to solve. So I know two things in this. I know that the total number of tickets is 200. So I'm going to write that here. I'm going to kind of write it in reverse a little bit. That is the total number of adult tickets, which I'll call A, plus the total number of children's tickets, which is C, or whatever letter you want to use. Usually I'll use the first letter of the word. And then I know the total amount that was sold was $2,240. So I'm going to go and write that down here. I'm going to kind of write it in reverse because of how I'm breaking it down. This is the total number, the total value after the total number of tickets was sold. So I know that each adult ticket is $12. So I can call that 12 times A, or however many adult tickets I sold, plus the total number of children's tickets that were sold, which is $8 per, per ticket. So eight times however many there are. Now, there's two different equations here, but we want to solve for one of the variables. So to solve for one of the variables, we need to get an equation with just that one variable. And obviously we have two. But what I can do though is at the top here in this equation, A plus C, I can kind of manipulate it a little bit so I can get it to one variable. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and subtract off A from both sides, basically move it over, because what, what's going to happen is these are going to go away. I'm going to get C equals 200 minus A. 
Now I've represented the children's tickets in the form of the adult tickets. And what happens with this, it's really nice because now I can take this expression here and plug it in or substitute it for C. And then that equation is all related to the variable A for adult tickets, which is what I want. So let me go ahead and plug that in and we can start solving this equation. So 12A plus 8 times C, instead of C, I'm going to write 200 minus A because it's the same thing. They're equal to each other, so I can replace one with the other. And that's all going to equal 2240. Okay? So now I need to kind of break this equation down and solve for it. So 12A plus, if you watched the previous video, I talked about how to use the distributive property. You take the number on the outside and multiply by each number on the inside or letter on the inside. 8 times 200 is 1600. 8 times a negative A is negative 8A and that all equals 2240. Now I have an equation where the only letter or variable is A which is good because then I can use it to solve for that one variable. I do need to combine like terms though. So I have 12 A's and I'm subtracting 8 A's so that means I have 4 A's left. I'm just going to rewrite this a little bit. Now I have a two-step equation like the last example. I can subtract off my 1600 from both sides. That'll give me 4A equals 2240 minus 1600. You can type that in your calculator if you want. That's going to be 640. Now I just need to divide by 4. When I do that, I get A equals 160. Sorry, it's a little scrunched up, but A is 160. What that tells me is that there were 160 adult tickets that were sold, which is exactly what I wanted to find, how many adult tickets there were. So I hope this helps when you get to solving word problems. Remember, take it one part at a time, take the information you know, and piece it together to put your equation together and solve. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions or you need assistance and you live in the Palm Beach County area, visit our website at GEDS.com to find a location near you and sign up for classes.